I hope this video is not very controversial. I'm just sharing my opinion here. And although I think Canva is a great tool for non-designers, I wouldn't recommend it if you are starting on graphic design. <laughs> Hello, my name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer and my channel is all about creativity, the design process and documenting my journey. And today I wanted to share an experience I had a few days ago, so it was the end of last week, with a tool that many of you might know that is called Canva. So it's a free or mostly free online tool for design, for graphic design. And I have heard about this before, so I think many many years ago I did like a mini one day course in, on graphic design in London and they taught us how to use this tool but ever since I have never really used it before and at university I don't think they have ever told us about this uh, tool so the reason why I have used it recently is because I was helping put up some posters together for a um, kind of a presentation or uh, kind of a small exhibition we are doing. So on the co-working space that I am part of, we are having a party on a couple, well, in a couple of weekends, and everyone in the whole desk in area, I mean, everyone does different things, and somebody thought it would be a good idea to have posters of each of us just talking about a case study or a project that we are working on or something just to share what our skills and what we do. So I kind of offer myself to help with this and initially I thought I would do some kind of template so I was my plan was to use Affinity Designer which is the tool I'm currently using I'm I'm using Affinity well Affinity Designer Publisher and Photo so my idea was to create kind of a template with this tool and then ask the people to send me their photos and their copy to put it on the posters and then export it and, and send it to print. Um, but talking to someone on the on the same space, they told me, why don't you try and create a template on Canva? So you don't have to ask everyone to send you their photos and the copy, just they can just go on Canva and edit the template themselves. And I thought it was a good idea. I mean, before this, I was already trying like, sketching some ideas that I, I can put a video here on the screen of how I used uh, iPad Pro and Procreate to sketch some rough ideas of what I wanted to, the, the posters to look like. I wanted to use the branding of the co-working space, uh, but to be honest then when I shared it with some people there, everyone agreed that um, we didn't really need to have the, the, the the branding of the co-working space in there because to be honest that will that that will look like we work for the co-working space and that's not the case we just have our independent um businesses or we are freelancers so we don't really work for the for the space we just work in there <laughs> so so yeah, the, the initial sketches, they I didn't end up doing anything with them just because I didn't end up working on um, using this branding. So what I did is I went to Canva, I started playing around the, the different tools. And to be honest, there are many things I kind of liked about Canva. Although being a graphic designer is a bit hard to actually use. I mean, the tool is easy to use in a way, but it like, is is not i guess it doesn't have as many options as other tools for obvious reasons but as a tool for non designers i think it's a it's a good choice so the reason why i use uh, canva for these posters is because well first of all because it's a free tool and second because everyone in the space could actually access the template and edit the the poster themselves, so I didn't have to do all the work, basically. <laughs> so what I did is I just checked the templates that uh, Canva offers, and there are lots and lots of templates. So I'm, I mean, whoever has done that work is uh, an amazing designer, because I mean, there are lots of options there for everyone, for every project. So I just took a couple of them that I liked, and I edited them so kind of to fit what we needed. So I decided to create four different posters, 
they all have the same style, so they have uh, they all have the same fonts, the same size for the fonts, and then they all have this line that goes across one of the of the edges of the poster, and that is because if people choose the different ones, we might be able to play around on the wall and make it uh, a bit more interesting. And also the lines, it gives the options to the people to just choose a color that they that go goes with their branding or that they like, I guess. And and the same goes with the fonts. So the main font for the copy that should stay the same. But the font for the for the name or the company name that can change as well, depending on the business they have, or also it might fit better their business if they have a business. In terms of the design is it's quite simple, so I didn't do anything very fancy because the posters are going to be up there for for a long time, hopefully. So the purpose of them is to just show what we do and to get people interested in the space and on the people that are working on the desks there. And in terms of the the tool itself, I think it's very good for non-designers. Um, again, I I won't use it for my for my professional work. But I think for people who might not have access to um, Adobe, which is a, an expensive tool, or to Affinity, or may not just the props. I mean, some people don't want to learn these tools, obviously, because they are not designers. I think for for other purposes, it's a good tool. I feel like people who use these tools, they end up thinking that graphic design is that that they are graphic designers because you know they can put together a poster. And well, that's not the case. I guess that's that's a completely different topic. But it's it's hard to educate people when there are so many tools that offer all of this for free. So by using it, I have realized that of course it's very easy to do. And to be honest, the templates there they are most of them are very very good. So anyone can feel like they are a designer. But choosing a template, changing the photos and the text and you know exporting it it doesn't mean that you are a designer and i i'm sure that people who use canva they don't want to be designers they just want to do something you know cheap or for free but i'm just concerned about you know how people uh, see graphic design or how people understand graphic design because then when i talk to to fr friends who are non-designers they don't understand why do i charge uh, some money to do the same thing and you know, they don't understand that I'm not doing the same thing. I'm a, I mean, the result uh, could be the same. That's completely true. But the process and, you know, everything that goes behind producing that design, that's what makes the job of a graphic designer unique and important as well. It has been very hard to create templates because I don't know, like many of the people uh, who work on the co-working space, some of them I don't really know what they do. Not, not that I don't know what they do, it's just I don't know how they will put something on a poster or, or what kind of project they will put up on a poster. So I was literally creating templates blind. There is not a clear purpose, like yeah the purpose is to have posters that go up on the wall, but it's very hard to make them fit everyone's needs, which is the reason why I created four different versions, just I mean for variety and also because I don't know what people are gonna need, and I asked around, and more or less I know what people needed, and I responded to to some requests, like for example adding a logo. Um, but it's it's hard, and that's specifically why graphic design or the job of graphic designers is so important because it's not just oh here's a beautiful poster, just put your photo there, and it's and it's done, it's yours. It's, it doesn't work like that, which is the reason why I tried to initially. Doing do some brainstorming with the branding of the of the space, but yeah, I mean overall the project has been has been good. It has been a good to learn about this new tool. Although these tools help, they are not what makes a graphic designer. So the graphic designer is not the tools that make them or that make us. Is the knowledge and is the solving problems and it is, is all the work behind it. So I think I'll just leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been interesting. Uh, I never say it, but if you are interested in knowing more, I'm usually posting on Instagram. And you can also subscribe here on YouTube. It really helps me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!